My name is Kirei and I've been 12 years challenger and I'm the only person in the world to have finished challenger every single season. I've been 5 times rank 1 and I've played professionally for 8 years and coached pro teams for 2 years. Having worked with some of the best players in the world, I'm sharing my knowledge that I've learned in the past decade and hope you guys will enjoy and learn a lot. Your enemy jungle is Kaori. Wait, do you mean Castanza or Kaori? Because there's like two different players, bro. <laughs> if it's Kaori on Talon jungle, bro, I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Play against Kaori on Try Hard, please. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll mute the chat. Okay, guys, I'll mute the chat. Okay, I'm playing against the best Talon in the West, actually, okay? And I'll show you guys how to beat the best Talon in the West, okay? So essentially, it's like not too complicated, right? Like what you should look to do is like, oh God, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, okay, here's the thing, right? Oh, I saw, I saw people here. Okay, essentially, um, Talon, he could do Raptors into invading my camps, right? So instead of me doing my blue into Gromp, what could I look to do? I could look to do, I mean, I think, okay, last time he tried to invade me, he got fucked. So I don't think he's gonna try again. You see? Like last time he literally invaded me, he got fucked. Is he gonna try the same thing? Hmm. Maybe he will, but I don't think he will. Like, unless he has really dog shit memory. But if I recall right, he's Asian, so he shouldn't have dog shit memory. So, let's see if he does or not. This time he's flash. Last time he ignite. Let's see if I got to his head. If he doesn't invade me, I got to his head. He doesn't invade me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But yeah, I'm just gonna clear top of the ball. Okay, key thing if playing is Talon. Okay, think about it. Talon, this champion, is by default boosted. So considering a champ is by default boosted, he has to make some plays. So full clearing is like not an option. It is an option, but it kind of sucks. So if you play against Talon players, Rengar players, like, like whatever, right? These champs in general, be mindful of what they can do. So I just finished three camps. So what does it mean for him? That means that he finished three camps. So that means that he could look for a gank, right? So that also means that I, as a jungler, have one responsibility, which is look a little bit at the laners, and ping them to play safe and think where he could be. Because I don't know where he started, I actually can't tell confidently where he started, so I won't actually ping my laners unless I think they really, really need it. Because I do think my bot top are fine, which is why I didn't ping them. But let's say I wasn't too sure where Talon could be, then I would consider actually um, pinging them to be careful, okay? But the things that I think are fine and I don't really need my pings. So the only lane that I could potentially think him, my lane is being in danger would be top lane. I don't think my bot lane can die, which is why I'm pinging my top lane to be careful, okay? Because as long as he doesn't get kills, I'm a happy man, okay? So right here you can see that like their bot lane is very low. So considering the bot lane is very low, I could easily dive them here. So what does this mean? This means that if my bot lane decides to like push the wave here, I can easily look to dive them. So here Talon is bot side. Okay, I'm gonna sprint towards. I thought he could have been there maybe. I'm gonna rush to the top crabby here. And the thing is I'm mid priority, so the top crabby should be mine. I'm gonna ping here on the way, because like I'm happy to be around, right? If he jumps in, I'm behind. Okay, so now I'll go for the top crabby. Okay, let me get the top crabby here. I mean there I should have checked the bush previously, but I'll wait. Okay, so the moment I take the top crabby, right? The key part is like you insta B. Why do you want insta B? My camps here spawn at 420. And considering like 420, right? Um You want to be there ACP. Because some jungles make the mistake of like not basing and then taking the camp top to bot. <sighs> that is really bad. Don't do that. So right now, obviously it's our top side, so where is the guy gonna go? I'm just gonna mark this Aatrox, it's called for mental pressure. Um, I'm actually not gonna go top lane, I just mark him for fun, because he's like sweating, he's now pinging, please help me jungler, because think from his perspective, my Gragos got a base, oh, what the fuck? My Gragos got a base, right? I want him to jump over, but he's probably not gonna jump over. Oh, you see how Silo's missing here? Okay, they're not diving, okay. But anyway, I'm just gonna look to clear top to bot here. So he invaded me, so he's gonna be down tempo here, okay? So. This is more like advanced, honestly, but this is something you won't see ever low elo people do. But if someone's picked up tempo, you can do something. What is that? You can look to invade him if you have pushing laners, which I do. So my wing can reach the ball in, right? So what do I do? I'm gonna split the map towards bot side. So if my support and I play through mid lane into enemy camps, we should win that. Our champs are stronger, so why would you not play to invade here? Makes sense, right? 
So right now, my boy should just push. I should walk in here. And now I'm gonna walk in here. I'll ping my boy. I'm gonna mark the Talon. And now I have middle impurity here, okay? And because I have middle impurity here, I can even just jump on this guy's face. And he died. So, how did he die here? This all comes from back before. And I want you to keep in mind that this is not like a bronze guy. This is probably the best talent in the best, right? Like, literally. So, Silas is moving, he's level 6. So, I'm thinking, which ult can he take? I'm just gonna jump over here. He's looking for my misfortune. Sadly, he died. But that's... Um, can we fight this? I think it's fightable, but we have to stay together. Oh, uh, I don't really like this that much. Actually, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. I mean, he should stay here, but... Uh... So here's the thing, I'm gonna press B here. Uh, I think Talon could go to our stop set here. So he has temp on me here. So what happens here is that... This guy probably is rushing to my top side camps, and it's probably Donzo. So considering it's Donzo right, um, I will... I can probably still take my top side camps here, but here's one problem. <laughs> what if he's level 6? Will I die here? I might die here, by the way. So, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna ping my... Gragunia, like, move here. I'm gonna be, like, very sneaky here. I'm gonna be, like, you know, running around the edges. Checking with W. So my grass around, I can now do my Grumpy. Like, as you can see, like, because I know his temp on me, because I know he's faster here, okay? That means that he could make a play here. So now I'm level 6, so I'm not, not as concerned anymore. So here's the thing, I'm still gonna pull out, and since their top lane is missing right now, imagine he's the one now pinging his top lane to move to me. I cannot take my boob, right? So what do I do? I play safe, wait till he goes back, and then I will look to play aggressive. And essentially, after I take my boob here, right, um, I will look to play bot side. So I'm pressing tap. My win condition is mid bot, okay? So I'm just gonna full clear top the bot. This guy probably is gonna do the same. So considering that information, um, I am just looking at the wave states. I'm seeing what he can do. And as long as you're like very aware of like what he can do, um, you'll be able to basically well, read what he does, right? Look from their perspective. They see this wave, they see my bowling getting humped. Guess where he's gonna go? Probably bot side. So what am I gonna do? Instead of doing my raptors, I'm actually sprinting towards my red buff here. And I'm gonna do my red buff. Why do I do red buff here? Because like, my bot lane's a bit volatile, I want to be as close as possible to my bot lane. That's the main reason why. There's actually no other reason. Because I know the bot lane is going to perm and push, and I do know as well that the mid lane has priority here. So, look. So now I see Mr. Talonski. So I'm looking at mid lane before I go. Um, let me see here. There's ward here. Okay, this is not that great. I think we have to give this sadly. Because my bullet is kind of low and they can just take it, right? That's why I as well wired the Drake because like I knew that bot priority, so they could look to take it. If Talon didn't saw me, uh, I could actually gain the bullet maybe and get a kill, because then Talon can counter gank. Um, the bot wave here is really fucking docked. I guess this is life right now. They can't really do much about it. So, I'm okay, the bullet is pushing. Okay, my team is getting a top lane kill here. That's nice. Okay, never mind, they're not getting a kill. Mm. So here, the question I'm essentially asking myself is that... Are they gonna stay here on bot lane? They have mid lane priority here, so I can't really go in river. I'm probably just gonna base here. Look, right now, there's not much going on. My top six camps are up. I can't really kill anyone, so what do I do? I just press B. And I'll see what's popping. I'll probably buy this. So now, groups in one minute. Um, my top six camps are up. I have one kill, um, so I do want to play for the grubs. So in general, if grubs are up, people don't ask this question enough, which is that... Which... Like, do you win 3v3? Top side. If no, does your bot lane have priority? So let's answer that question. Do you win 3v3 top side? Yes. Does my bot lane have priority? I would say yes, honestly. They should be strong, I think. So what am I gonna do? I will play for the grubs. So I've now concluded that I can play for the grubs. But now think about it. 
What if Talon's smart and he knows he doesn't win the top side? What's he gonna do? He's gonna try to like dive ball in, right? So before I go for the grips, I'm asking myself, can my bowling die? Because is a grips more worth than my bowling life? Arguably, right? So right now I'm gonna ping on the way here. Mm. Okay, I think this guy should be cooked. Okay, so now um, the mark is up. I'm gonna ping him. So as you can see, my Nautilus is first here, and I do think we win scrims top side, right? Which is why I'm as well very confident to go for the fight. Okay, let me take this crap and run to our top side ACP. So we can probably die this guy. Like, Tal has the ultimate. If my grass can crash the wave, which I think he can, this guy just jumped in. He's pretty dope on that stream. Where's my Tal, by the way? Or my... Yeah, that guy. I feel like we should definitely, we should definitely go in here. Uh, wrong direction, bro. Okay, tunnels mid lane, so we're fine here. Okay, keeping, keeping, keeping here. Press B instant. Why press B instant? You have your item power spike. Base, stabilize the map. See if both mid or whatever needs help. And if they need help, you need to have base for it. Because that way you're as strong as possible and then you can help them. So right now the grips are up, okay? Um, do you want to play for the grips? Uh, yes, I do. But he probably took my... Or he wants to take my raptors here. I'm just going to check. But anyway, key thing right here is that... I have to identify right now who I want to play with, my Syndra slash Gryos, um, ideally. And I'm not going to give him my chickens as well. Just to be sure of that one. Oh. It's probably fine here, but he gets chunked here. Oh, 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 oh. Mark, 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 mark. This guy is very low. Yo, what's up, bro? There's an Ezra in front of your face. Bro, Nautilus, please. There is literally the fing guy in your face here. Oh my god, my support, man. Support rolls weak. That's what they usually say. This fing guy is inting here so fucking hard. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Now you cancel the play. Okay, key thing here, base. Why am I basing here? I got my Tabis, okay? I'm very low. So what do you do? You press B, and then, because you're in a winning position, you want to, like, match the enemy, and then you want to play whatever he's playing for. Because I'm very strong right now, and I can easily play for the Drake. Because my center is pretty fat. So I just want to pay attention to the enemy death timer, okay? So I'll do my red buff here, into center support me, walk together to take control. Think about it. If you're winning, how do you lose? Two ways to lose a game. One, your laners are boosted. Happens often. Two, they die to enemy jungler. So my job right now is to just find the enemy jungler. That's all. I just push mid lane wave, take control. And here's the thing. I think he's probably top side. So um, I'm just going to do the Drake here. So they should kill him and back off. Because I think Talon could be around. So here, my plan is to take the Drake here. After I take the Drake here, I will look to play for the Herald here. So considering that I do that, I'm gonna take this. I mean, before I play for the Herald, though, I could probably Yoink some blue buff here, which I will do. Because why not? And here's the thing, okay? I wanna Yoink this, and after I Yoink this, uh, I'll probably save me. I wanna go to the Herald here. So right now I'm bolting against the push. So now because I'm bolting against the push, 1v2, because I hover both sides, I can now move in the top side. So, okay. Oh my god, the Ezra ult. Alright, that Ezra ult came in really clutch. If it wasn't for that, I think we would have killed him, but... All good. Um, anyway, after these type of plays, it's very important to identify um, the next thing. Usually, okay, please don't ever, like... Don't do this, okay? Like, don't look at your phone, don't look at 
the girl that's texting you or don't ever like all that please don't do this like that's just complete int if you want elo don't do that like think about instead what you want to play for think about tempo think about tracking think about who you want to play with who's your win condition think about those things okay that's like very important so right now because like i have tempo because you can see that i'm chasing this tunnel down um i could do the herald however my team is making a ball in play and because they're making a ball in play i cannot do the herald um because i need my laners right so because well they made a ball in play i can't have to wait for my laners and then i can look to do uh, okay i can't control here i guess and then i can look to do whatever i want on the top side so right now i'll take all my camps before doing something why is that because like i am making sure that i respawn my camps before i play for the next objective why is it important because let's say that i play for the herald and i happen to die which can happen at least all my camps are respawned enemy drone can't take it and that's pretty good right so i should only rush the herald if that's the only time i can get it and if you're losing doesn't make sense but if you feel like you're in a winning position you then have the luxury to take extra camps and then look to um, play for the objective. So right here, I'm gonna kill this guy here. Uh, we should back off here. They literally double TP. Like, even if you're strong guys, like, don't fight. If someone uses double TP, you back off, you have TP advantage, you get man advantage. Like, why fight 50-50 when you can literally fight 70-30? Think about it. So right now, I'm really down to fight here. Why am I down to fight here? Because this guy was just inting. <laughs> like, honestly, there's no other reason. <laughs> So we're gonna take this, and after we take this, right? What's on the menu? Top tower, okay? So after we take top lane tower, I probably want to um, go top lane here. So here's the thing: before I go top lane, okay, I'm pinging my misfortune already to be careful. Why do I do this? Because I know that they can only go on him. Because remember, for top lane, they only have like one play, right? Which is well, very simply said, um, just kill this guy. Use your abilities. So you can literally see on the minimap, right? Like, do you see like this screen here? So, but hey, no joke. Maybe because I didn't ping my misfortune, he would have died here. And such a small thing really, really changed the game a lot, by the way. It's like very, very important. Okay, so now I think the ball is actually basing and actually moving to the to the top side. So because of that, we should back off here. We should not stay here. So right now, okay, crucial thing is that we should look for a base and look to play for both sides. So how do you play? How do you do that? It's nothing complicated, really. You have to think about tempo a bit. Who's first on the map? Um, I would consider that myself first on the map. We spawn at the same time. So even though my camps are up here, I will take my camps first and then look to play bot. So which wave would it be? It would be this wave. So I might skip my golems just to make sure that I can be here on this mid lane wave. So I personally think Manol is trolling. I think it should be hovering mid lane because mid lane wave after mid 14 is always faster. So getting mid lane priority into silent is good. But here's the thing, right? Um, I think us getting mid tower here, if we can, will be pretty good. Which I think we can almost get. Boom. Okay. Now, because my Sinner pushed that bowling wave, we can then take the next mid lane wave back into the bot side wave. So now is the thing, okay? They have no vision wards. So technically, they should still think I'm around. However, I, am, I will still ping my uh, Misfortune to be careful. Because here's the thing, I'm taking my camps here. As long as they don't die right now, right before the Drake, if I'm there, the enemy team cannot win. So essentially, I'm gonna ping my Nautilus to be careful here. And then on the next wave response, also known as this one, I wanna contest. So do you see how I'm pinging my top laner as well to like push a move? Because this is the mid wave that's super important for us to get objective. So right now, I'm going with this little Aatrox. I'm gonna like nuke him here. I'm gonna press my E. My third nuke, he's trying to eat me, but he can't do that. So you can see my Gragas here with man advantage. Nice. So I think Silas is trying to flank me or something. I don't know what he's trying to do, but they have to do something crazy. But I can promise you at this point, when they have like no vision wards, it is close to impossible to do something crazy. So I think this Talon here has no wards. So we can probably cheese him here a bit. And if you're not coming, we take the Drake. So after we take the Drake, okay? You base, I call it like you end the play. So after you take the Drake, we're ending the play, which means that usually, because you take an objective, you're down tempo. What does this mean? This means that they might maybe evade my top side, they might do whatever, right? Okay. So because they might do those things, I am very aware of like what enemy team could do. 
So I'm scanning my teammates right now. Are they inting? If they're fine, perfect. If they're not fine, well, that sucks. But they should be fine. Okay. So because we're down tempo, okay? You have to identify, once again, it's the what and when concept. Which wave you want to contest? So I'm going to be contesting this wave response. So what does it mean? I have to identify how many camps I can take and when I can be there on that wave. That will be on this wave. Okay? This wave, this wave right there. So till then, I would ping my misfortune to be slightly mindful and to wait for me. So think from Talon perspective. Because I'm going or playing through mid lane, okay? This guy can only go ball lane, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ball lane here and I'm going to try to save my boy here or I'm going to just kill this guy here, okay? So this guy ulted here, but I have a counter ult here. Okay, I still have an ultimate here, so I saved it because I knew I wasn't going to die. And here's the key thing, okay? The Baron is up. I think this guy wants to flash for me. I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I just have to be slightly careful here. Close. Man, that's so fucking close, but... But he did flash on me, so we take that. Oh, this is actually Ice as well, the LEC player. But anyway, okay. That guy has no flash right now, so I'll be timing that. It's like 26, 30, 80 carry. And a support flash as well. 27, 30 support. So, as I right now, you want to play for the Baron, okay? Honestly, it doesn't matter what role you play. If you want to play for the Baron... Honestly, even if I play support, AD carry, or top lane or mid lane, I would actually know exactly how to move on the map. Because, like, in mid game, it's not about, like, individual skill. It's actually about recognition of, like, what enemy can do, what you can do, and understanding those things. So, right now, I would say that I want to play for misfortune, okay? Once again, it's very simple. And please, if you're misfortune or any laner, look at your jungler, see where he is, and think which wave you can contest. Because, like, very often, what laners don't realize is that enemy tunnels 1-4, I'm 4-2. Like, stats don't even matter, but I'm f***ing strong, okay? So, my laners usually, when farming, will die and they will fight. So, your job as a jungler is to identify what you want to do. So, you see this wave, I'm skipping my wolves to just contest this mid lane wave to then look to get full control. Why is this important? To get full river control. I will slow this guy. We want to chase here, if possible. This guy is, like, TPing here. We should consider fisting him. Um, where's my team? Okay, there's no way that they TP in our face and my team is chasing them on the bot side when they're literally in our face. Is it for real? Oh my god, Gragas is bobbing him. I think this win is better. If he jumps in, they're dead. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> that happens. Okay, anyway, I died here. It kind of sucks. It's life. I didn't have ultimate sadly, um, I played a bit too cocky, I actually went literally in his face, assuming that my team were human. Um, what? I've labbro for my team, bro, why is my team like... I don't know what my team was doing. But anyway, um, now the thing is that the third rake's up in one minute, and pay attention to one thing. Do you see how Talon's dead in one uh, for one minute? So, right all before this, I was thinking about what their vision was, and where Janna put down his vision words. I'm pretty sure that Janna didn't put any vision wards in the top side. So considering the information, okay, like let's say that they know that we can do Baron. If we're rushing to the top side while Talon is dead, Talon has, sorry, Janna has no one to face check with and usually you can make a pick. However, because my camps are up and we can't really do Baron, I was going to do red buff. And once again, I'm identifying when I would like to contest. So as you can see, my misfortune is basing. And because he's basing, I am probably not contesting this mid lane wave. So I can take my golems here and I can wait till my Missyndra pushes the wave and then groups. So my Gragas has teleport, so this wave I want to contest. So I'm going to ping my Missyndra to not do what it's doing. I think it should like hover mid lane so we can take the wave very aggressively into um, then going back into the bot side if he wants to. But I guess he can sneak it so it's not too shabby. So I'm going to ping my teammates. I'm taking like this camps here which is really really nice to take. And then we just take the Drake here. Okay, I think Silas might in here as well. 
Okay, we just take the Drake here. Holy shit, dude, we're sending it on this guy. Was it personal, guys? Okay, I mean, for sure we take the Baron here. I can tell you guys that. Okay, anyway, um, we will just take the Baron here. But key thing main the Baron, okay? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, this Mark. This Mark, bruh. You guys see this Mark? If I can choose between the Mark or Baron, you guys all know the answer, right? Of course the Baron guys, just saying. <laughs> but I can get the Mark and Baron guys. So hopefully you guys didn't think it's actually the Mark. But yeah, okay, let's say Tolan here wants to Burger Flip, because he has to Burger Flip, right? You can always ult the Baron if you're not sure. So, key thing here, if my laners don't have the base, which doesn't seem like it, you can instantly pressure. My ground is basing on a bot, perfect. They're two dead, perfect. Okay, so we take top tower here, and I want to press B after this, and after that, I want to play for bot side, okay? So, here, even if you can fight, please don't fight. So, here, the goal is just take the wave to make them show top side. Once they're showing top side, you then have man advantage, and you can use the man advantage to take full control bot side. So, then, you have to think which wave would you like to use in order to play for bowling tower is this wave. So all bot please. So who should be mid lane? In general, the guy should be mid lane should be the guy with teleport and the safest. So I do think personally my Sinner can go mid lane with teleport. Um, and I don't think he can die personally. So if we use this wave, we can siege easily. And let's say they're fighting with some bot lane, he has teleport to join. And because it's Baron, right? He can just stand here and buff the wave, and at some point they're forced to show. When it forces show, we will get man advantage. So right now, um, I'll we can literally can end on bot. I'm not even kidding. I'll show you guys on this bonding wave. We can literally end the game because the wave clear is so dark, mm. and they have three melee champions and they're really good like zone control. So right here, as long as my sinner doesn't die, you see now they're forced to show mid lane, and because they're forced to show mid lane, I can now push bot lane and they'll force to show here. So the five five as well, they have no chance. So as long as you play the mini wave. Ezreal technically is useless. Like, actually, like, he's actually useless. I'm not even kidding. Like, this guy is not a champion. And because he's not a champion, um, we can just hit the tower here and they're really cooked. So, pay attention. I'm just hitting the tower here and at some point, they're like, fuck. We can't need to fight, guys. Which is true. But the problem is that, like, they can't really fight, you know? Whoa, dude, that Proto Belt E dash is crazy. Okay, so. Um, I do have my ultimate for my boy if needed. Okay, we might have to be slightly careful here. And now we literally end in the bot lane, as you can see. And that's how we can smurf against the best Tolon in the West. And it's honestly, all the things explained is a lot of decision making. But if you understand a lot of small things and can apply on your games, it's like, dude, I'm like smurfing Chandra Elo. Like, you guys can probably like. If you guys can apply some of the things, it's like, you'll smurf as well, you know, but, but yeah, basically, that's how you get the bread.